Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up screencast keys in Blender 3.4. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And inside Google Chrome, we're going to type in Blender screencast keys. And we're going to go to this GitHub page here. So when we click on that, we see all these different files up here. But if we scroll down a little bit, we see there's an option to go to the release page. When you click on the release page option here, you see version 3.8. So I'll put a link to this same um, this same page in the YouTube description just to make it easier for you guys to get to. So when you get here, you want to click on uh, the download here. So if you're downloading it uh, in a zip file would be the best option. So click screencast keys here, zip file, and it will download the file. And I'm just going to drag that to my desktop for a second. So it's just a bit easier for me to access. So I'll put it onto the desktop. We can close down the browser and let's go ahead and open up our Blender here. So I've just got a default Blender file, Blender project here, just the default one. I'm going to go to edit and go to preferences and then go to add-ons here, add-ons, and then click install. When I click install, we need to go to my desktop and select the zip file and then click install add-on. And then we need to tick it off. Make sure that you tick it off here and then you can go ahead and close this down. Now you need to press the letter N on your keyboard, N for November, press the letter N, and then you see screencast tab here, screencast tab here, and now you can enable it. And when you enable it, you'll see the mouse and the mouse uh, key actions are down here. So when I press Shift A, you'll see it's written Shift A. When I left click or right click, you'll see that the actions are performed here. It's very hard to see because it's quite small in the bottom corner. So what you can do is increase the font size maybe set it to something like 20, 25 or 24 would be a nice number. And then you can also um, increase the mouse size as well. So let's make that a bit bigger. So we'll set that to maybe around 60. Now it's much more legible on the screen. You can change its position. You can change the left coordinate or the X and the Y coordinates here. So you can move it up or down a little bit. And you can also change the display time. So I'm going to set it to something like five seconds. So every time we perform an action, the, the action will be displayed for five seconds here, right? So we press Shift and A, or if we press left click on the mouse, we'll press Shift D, or whatever presses we do, it will be displayed there. We can also show the max amount of history. So if we set it to something like 10, then you'll see 10 stacked up here. So as we press these different shortcut keys, uh, you'll see they start to appear here and stack up and then they'll fall away after five seconds. So I like to do that. Then you can also set up in the drop down menu the um, hold status as well here, the event history and hold status. So when you click on an object or if you hold down like the shift key, uh, you those will get displayed here as well. There is an option. Let me just double check. Uh, let's have a look. History and hold status. Yep, that's fine. And then you can also do show last operator here, this option. And that just gives you the operation what's been selected. So if you select a specific object, you click on, a, on something inside the viewport, then um, those will get displayed down here as well, whatever sort of actions you're performing. So that's pretty much how you set up screencast keys. Um, if you close down Blender, so if I close it down, I'm not going to save this. And then if we load up Blender again one more time, Let's just go ahead and load it one more time. So we've got the default scene here. I'm using Blender 3.41, right? The latest version. So you'll see, you'll notice that screencast keys is not working. So you have to press the letter N, open up screencast keys, and then enable it. Turn it on. And then you should see, uh, you should see screencast keys appear here now, right? So you have to enable it each time you load Blender. You have to turn it on. You can also change the color of the screencast keys in here. So maybe... You want to make it like a like a pink or something that doesn't clash with any of the other colors in a, in Blender itself, right? So something like that sort of color won't clash with the green or the red or any sort of other colors inside Blender's default. So let's go ahead and close this. We don't need to save anything. Um, that's the end of this tutorial uh, to showing you how to set up screencast keys in blender 3.4 hopefully you find this tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial